Hey guys, so in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I made this set of Brother Bear inspired Mickey ears. I did send these over to my friend Sammy for Year of the Ear for March, and I wanted to show you guys how I made them because they're kind of a different method. So let's jump into it. So starting out with the brown fur that's kind of like chocolate brown, I did have this fabric from Hobby Lobby when I used it to make a set of Ralph ears from the Muppets. So it's the same fabric in case you want to make another set of ears for a different character. Um, I do have that tutorial on my channel, but you're going to start by tracing four of the ear cutting line templates onto the back of the fabric. Now this fabric at Hobby Lobby is not found in the fabric section, it's actually in the crafting section with the craft foam and felt. Um, but after tracing four of those, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut those out using my rotary blade and cutting mat, but you can also use a pair of fabric scissors. It will work just the same. Now for two of those four that we just cut out, I'm actually going to trace a inner circle because I wanted to cut out the center part in order to have a lighter brown underneath with an image. So um, I just kind of took my Sharpie and just kind of traced out what I thought the shape should look like. And then again, taking my rotary blade, which by the way, this little small rotary blade, they have these at Dollar Tree if you're looking along with cutting mats. And um, after cutting that out, then I'm going to put that on top of the tan fabric just to make sure it's how I want it. So here you can see me tracing the biggest template once more onto a sheet of tan felt. Um, this is what I do instead of using stuffing and especially for this particular set of ears you're going to want to use this method because you are going to need a flat ear to best demonstrate the design on the ear. Um, I also cut out four of or sorry two of um, the same template this larger template on just a plain set of tan fabric but I don't have that clip so um, the piece of fabric that I'm drawing on right now in the clip is just a plain piece of tan fabric, like a fabric swatch. Um, and what I'm doing right now is tracing on the human hand and the bare hand, and I'm just doing it in pencil, just kind of freehanding it until I like it. I did pull up an image of this from the movie just to kind of loosely base it off of the film. And then, yeah, just taking my time and tracing it in with my pencil. I did want to restate all the fabrics you're going to need just in case I confused anybody, but you're going to need four of the chocolate brown fur type of fabric, and then you're going to need two of the tan plain fabric, and then you'll need four of the tan felt fabric as well. Um, and you'll see how we're going to layer those in just a minute, but I did want to restate that just in case it was a little confusing earlier. After tracing out the first one, I um, went in with my smallest template that I have linked below for you guys and I'm cutting out four pieces of cardboard to the foam and batting template and I am just using an exacto knife on my cutting mat again you can use scissors for this um, I just find the exacto knife to be a little bit faster and now you should have all of the layers that you're going to need so starting with the cardboard and the felt piece you are going to hot glue the edges of the felt down onto the ear I like to start at the top of the ear in the center and then just kind of work my way down on both sides just firmly pressing down the felt into the hot glue and then finishing off one side at a time I do tend to leave the bottom unglued until I get to the final layer of fabric which you will see me do in just a moment Next will be that tan piece of fabric that I traced the design onto, and I'm just checking it right now to make sure that it is lining up well with the ear. Um, as you can see, I had to shift it over to one side because of how my drawing ended up. Um, if that happens and you don't think that you can kind of make it work, I would suggest just cutting another piece and trying to, tr to draw it again because you don't want your design to be off center. It might look a little bit funky once you put all these layers together. But following that same method, I'm just going to apply some hot glue at the top center and then firmly press down my fabric and allow that glue to dry and then work your way down the sides. So as you can see here, I didn't like I don't have enough fabric on the side to glue it down very well. So I am going to go ahead and glue the bottom of this one um, because it was the only way to like firmly attach the fabric enough to where it wasn't going to keep popping up. 
but it's okay because we do have another layer with that fur that's gonna be added onto this and it will cover up the edge that didn't get fully met to the edge, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, but this is the final piece of fabric for one of the sets of ears. Um, so I have that kind of like C-shaped fabric and I'm just going to put glue on the very front of the ear and I'm gonna tap down this fabric into it. And then I will work the hot glue further around and I'm just making sure that I'm not covering up the design and that I'll have enough fabric to wrap around the back of this half ear. The nice thing about this fur plushy fabric is that you don't need any kind of trim between the two pieces of one ear once you glue them together because the fur will kind of close up your gap. So again, just following the hot glue, I'm going to glue all the way around the edges. So I had just the front half of this ear done and I decided to go ahead and go in with my paint pen to do the rest of the design. I do find the paint pen to be the best way to do this because I think that if I had tried to do this with a paintbrush, it wouldn't have looked as clean as I wanted it to look. Um, I get my paint pens from Walmart and they're relatively inexpensive, but I'm just going in and following along with the pencil tracings that I'd already put in. After that, I'm just repeating those steps to make a back of the ear, um, but this time with that last piece of fabric, it, there's nothing special about it. You just do exactly the same thing. You lay the ear on top and then hot glue all the way around. So once that's done, you'll have two halves of the ears and we're gonna go ahead and glue these together. So that will be the front, and then I'm just going to put a pretty generous amount of glue in between and press these two together firmly until all of that glue is able to set and dry. Now, when I moved on to the second ear, I realized that that um, hole that I cut out in the brown fur fabric, I wanted it to match on both sides. So I took the piece that I cut out and I traced it onto the other one. That way it would be symmetrical on both sides. So just make sure you keep that center piece of whatever the first one you cut is so that you can use it as a template for the second ear. On the second ear, instead of doing like a drawing, I decided to put a quote and I decided to do I'm on my way from the song from Brother Bear. And I did look up kind of the font of Brother Bear so that I could try to replicate it as best I could. Again, I started with pencil and then I went in with the paint pen afterward. This one I did in a slightly different order. I actually did the felt, the tan fabric, and then I put the design on it. Then I decided to do the brown fabric. Um, I don't know which way it works better to be honest, but um, both of them seem to be fine. It's just a matter of making sure that your design is centered on the ear. So next we're going to move on to the bow. I did make a really small bow for this design because I wanted to make sure that the bow did not cover up the design that I put on the ears themselves. So this bow is only, I believe it's two inches by three inches. Um, and I just did it out of this little fur sheet that I also got from Hobby Lobby in the same section. And I'm just going to pinch that into a bow. And then I did have this trim already and I liked the not studded side of it. So it kind of looks like faux um, leather suede, like, like a suede trim. And um, so I'm just flipping it over so that you can't see the actual studding on the back because I thought that that matched the outfits from the characters in Brother Bear. And then I'm just going to hot glue this and wrap it around a few times to secure the bow. So now that we have the bow and both of the ears done, we're going to go ahead and attach all of this to the headband. I am using my ear spacing template, which I have linked below for you guys in case you need it. 
um, and just using that I'm going to line up these ears to make sure that they are evenly spaced on the headband. I applied a pretty good amount of hot glue to the bottom and I'm just firmly pressing it down onto the headband and holding it for at least 30 seconds to make sure the glue has time to properly set and dry. I did debate adding trim to the bottom of these ears but I just didn't love how it looked so I made sure to clean up any hot glue that came out so that it wouldn't look messy on the ear. And then I just repeated those steps to attach the second ear and next I'm going to attach the bow, just applying a little bit of hot glue and then firmly pressing it down onto my headband. I do have these pink clips from Dollar Tree and they're awesome. I just put them on top of the bow for a few minutes to make sure that that glue fully sets and that is the final step in making these ears. I thought these turned out really cute and I loved making a set of ears for a movie that I'd never done a craft for. You guys are gonna have to let me know, are you Brother Bear fans? Do you think it's underrated? Have you never seen it? And what did you think of these ears? I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.